Dr. Doreen Grand is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Dr. Doreen Grand is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Uh, we had somebody who wrote in in the night and wants to know how they can know when their child is hurting if they can't speak. Mm. Tough that's question, a, right? A very tough question, yeah. So um, <clears throat> that's a, a really difficult one. And I, it, it's one of the ones I think, Shannon, that often concerns a lot of parents because, you know, it, it, there's one thing we want to know with our kids, and that is if they're in pain or distress of any kind. Um, I guess uh, this is one of the things where and it depends on the child's age and functioning level and, um, you know, medical needs or why you would think that they are hurting. There are, of course, some children who have a lot of illness, other comorbid illness, and, and it becomes more of an issue in that case. But um, I think this is where it becomes extremely important to teach a non-vocal form of communication and uh, not just for this reason for many reasons um, it's really important to to choose a non-verbal non-vocal form of communication and to really uh, push that so that the child has some form of communication can tell you when they're in pain can also tell you when they want something or if, if something significant happens in their life so um, we usually with our younger children will start with a PEX system, picture exchange communication system, uh, which is, you know, icons. I'm sure most of our families probably know what a PEX system is. Um, and with some children who are uh, interested in letters or are hyperlexic, uh, we will even skip that stage and go immediately to keyboarding and using an iPad or a computer. Um, now, nowadays, of course, the PEX systems can also be done on an iPad where uh, you have a variety of different types of communication systems that uh, are based on pictures. So the child can basically tap uh, the picture of the object. And there's also actually some pictures that do uh, represent pain in different parts of the body. So like a headache or a tummy ache or those types of things. And so uh, moving to a form of communication that is non-vocal is pretty important. And, uh, you know, not just for the reason of explaining, expressing pain, but for many other reasons as well. Okay, we, we're having a problem with the live chat and I love Parker has written in and said, poor Shannon. And Parker, I appreciate your concern for me. However, like, you know, if this is the worst thing that happens to me today, we're all good. Uh, so I appreciate your, your pity, Parker, but uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep on moving. I brought it up on, our, um, on my phone, our Facebook. So I am still able to get your questions on Facebook and uh, Traven, if you're able to get them on YouTube, we'll be able to piece this thing together. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.